Jaja 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 Sonia Sombara de Sia de Vijuba, de Dasi de Tamichini, de Sia, Taya, Gunana, de Nomjaka, Roda, de Mayaka, de Nomjaka, 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 de Dice che ti ammi che sei in un piccolo cugino, io sono una lingua che sei dopo di sei in morire. Please listen by adjusting your motivation and con- uh, conduct, thinking to yourself, I must achieve uh, the peerless state of precious, complete enlightenment, complete um, precious Buddhahood for the sake of all the mother sentient beings who are equal to the extent of space by any means what whatever and for that reason I'm going to listen to the holy dharma teachings Then, uh, as for the Dharma that we're going to be listening to, this is a, an explanatory transmission of the stages of the path to enlightenment. We've reached the, the section which explains about karma and its results, and specifically, um, uh, the, within that, we have an ancillary um, explanation uh, on the 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 uh, about the different types of uh, powerful karma. Mm. Uh, We've been looking at the uh, calm which is powerful from the point of view of the, 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 the field, literally the field. This means, for example, uh, the, uh, the Buddha uh, karma created in connection with the, the, uh, the Buddha and then also the one's guru and also those who are like one's uh, guru. Uh, It was explained that karma created in connection uh, with them, uh, even if uh, any sort of uh, benefit, even slight benefit, also um, any slight harm, brings very great uh, results due to the the power of that field. And then also uh, the the sangha or um, those uh, intent on uh, virtue uh, the, the the karma created in relation to them is also very powerful. I didn't get this word. Are you meaningful? <coughs> this is because um, the the so the the those intent on virtue, the sangha, are also. Um, uh, very powerful objects, uh, so that also karma created uh, with them, whether it's um, beneficial or whether it's, you know, whether you benefit or whether you harm them, then it also brings very powerful results, very great results. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Methods, 
Quand on a un peu de temps, 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 on a Uh, when you, mm, oh, if one uh, takes from uh, the the, uh, the sangha those those um, intent on uh, virtue, uh, even a small thing such as a, a flower or a, a leaf of a, a tree, which is which belongs to those who are intent on virtue, the sangha, then um, uh, the the results are, are very heavy. Like for example, when a, uh, <coughs> a, a, a even um, even a leaf or even just a flower, mere just. A, a flower or fruit or fruit or fruit yes. mm-hmm. the plant the sangha yes. uh, when um uh when a um kill or like a, a a fully ordained for example when a monk for example or nun um has without when somebody with impure morality anyway somebody who has um has sort of like lapsed morality or who's uh, not pure since they don't have a, a right to to use the possessions Uh, of, the, of that community, then um, uh, if they do use it, then as a result of that, they would be born in one of the, the great hells. And even when they, are, uh, when they get free from that birth, uh, if they're born, for example, as a human being, or if they're born as a, uh, a praetor, they might be born in a very uh, barren place even with... They, with, with you know. Even they become free after, a, at an extremely unconceivable length of time, even they become free from those. The, the, the great hills. Yes. Then, if they're born as a human being, for example, or as a praetor, they might be born in a very barren place, uh, with with, uh, with no uh, with no arms and no legs, that kind of thing. Yes. It actually says, if gallop, if uh, even in this possibility that um, live, uh, free from the great hell, the heavy hell, uh, after long, after incredible the time, mm-hmm. this is what will they experience. うん。今だ、じゃあ、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の、現状の
to, to, to them. You've dedicated it to, uh, to them, even if it's uh, such a thing as a, a flower, I mentioned the, 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 the flower tsambaka. So even if it's just a, a, a flower, if, if you use it, then it's not right because you've, uh, you've, you've uh, dedicated it to, to that person. So it's like you've given it, uh, you've given it to them. You give it to the sang, you give it to, the, to that uh, gelong. So uh, if, if you use it, it's, also, it's not right. Or if you uh, give it to the, the lay people, it's also, if you give the possessions of the sangha to the lay people, uh, it's also not right. It's not right for the uh, lay people to use. And then uh, it mentions, uh, it explains this in a, a, a sutra. So actually in the, your English text now, we're, uh, if you look at the top of page 132, you can see this sutra that's quoted here. Um, the, it, uh, it mentions in the, the first verse, uh, don't give to the householders what has been dedicated to the spiritual communities. It would be better to cut off your own limbs with uh, sharp razors. In the Tibetan it says um, um, it would, it, uh, to cut off your own limbs with sharp razors would be uh, easy in a sense, like uh, there wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't really be so bad. Because the thing is that uh, if your uh, limbs were cut off with sh uh, sharp uh, uh, razors, then that would only harm uh, the, the, the body of this life, and it wouldn't do any harm to you in future lives. But if you, uh, uh, if you give the, the, the Sangha uh, property to the householders, um, then... Um, the then sub substances belong to the Sangha. No, the, the substances belonging to uh, the Sangha, then it would bring these uh, awful results. So that would be uh, much, much worse. Mm. That, that <clears throat> if one, if one sold. Uh, say, who broke the vows, doesn't you see that we, we, we won't use that, then it's a much heavier, the effect is, you know, much heavier suffering in the future lives. I have this. So then the board comes, uh, the which, um, yeah, uh, after, yeah, after it's dedicated to the Sangha, or, yeah, uh, then, then you also use, or you give to lay people. Mm -hmm. Then it's a, a then they say, if you keep the lay people, then this is what comes next. Mm. Mm. So he, he, very heavy, very heavy stuff. Mm. In that first verse. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 สุวัยนาทกาสิงกามาริตะนอนเจนเนสมบทนดาเบเมเออเรจะบทนบทตะเบเมชินบอเอเตนิสุวัยนาโยเอเตกาสิงกามาริสิยาเออเนรองเกน
um, the, it would be um, rather than uh, for the, uh, the householders to stay in the, uh, the, um, the dwellings of the, uh, those who intent on virtue, it would be uh, better to, uh, to, to, be, to, to be put into a, a room or a house filled up with uh, burning uh, embers. Uh, that would be uh, relatively easy or relatively uh, uh, sort of, uh, yeah, re relatively easy. Easy. relatively easy compared with uh, the results that uh, they would have to experience in uh, future uh, lives as a result of uh, having done that. Mm. <laughs> No one but over wrong or wrong, some no judge in any but you agree. Then you're getting no one told you, any but you were going in the uh, this is talking about uh, staying the, the night. If you go during the day, then there wouldn't be such uh, uh, drawbacks or such a, a fault. And this is specifically talking about when you go without the right, when you stay there, and you don't have any right to stay there, but you stay there anyway. Uh, if, you, uh, if you've been given permission or if you've been given the, the right to, uh, to stay in the night time. Spend time, spend night time in the Sangha's, uh, Sangha's uh, the abiding house. Mm. Then uh, if you do, to do that uh, without having uh, the they right, lay, that's when these... They, they lay, lay abiding in the Sangha house at night, so that uh, sh 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 yeah, should not be done. Mm. But, mm, so all this, is, uh, all this is based on the remission that uh, if we haven't received the permission from Sangha, but if we receive permission from Sangha, it's okay. Mm. Major Mavata, Jaja Tuno Super, Gendit on the Conde, Gendit Jenny, no major, no modern and driver, no watch at the Super, the Chimaju, Gendit, no Jiban, the Major, Tamji, you watch about. Such in the Tuba, the Chimaju, Gendit, no Jiban, the Major, Menda, Taka, Kong, and Nikon, the Shuba, Chimbe, Gendit, Simon, the Major, she is so. Gendit and Nan, a John, John Jusin, be a concern, a game magician, a shame, shed the top chair there. Hm, Imaratat, Gendu. La Zamanay Imbarate then um after this um these verses um are around the middle of page uh, 232 there's a, it talks about how uh, amongst uh, the Sangha, the Bodhisattva is, the, uh, is even the, the most powerful. So when it says Sangha, the, those intent on virtue, this could, uh, this could refer to, this in core includes hearers, uh, solitary realizers, and, uh, and uh, Bodhisattvas. So amongst those, uh, the, uh, the Bodhisattva Sangha, the Bodhisattva is intent on uh, virtue. Uh, this is a much more, uh, the, the most powerful uh, object uh, to create karma against so it, it, what that means is that any benefit uh, or any um, uh, harm that's uh, done with respect to uh, such a person uh, brings um, uh, very much greater results. So it explains that uh, if one were to 
um, imprison all the sentient beings, not just one or two sentient beings, but all sentient beings, if you, put them, if you were to throw them all in prison, then of course that would be a, 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 very, a very bad thing to do. There would be, there would be a great um, disadvantages to that, or anyway, anyway, it would be a very bad thing to do. But uh, it would be uh, far worse than that if one were to uh, turn one's back, turn away from, turn one's back on a, uh, a, a bodhisattva uh, saying, uh, uh, that uh, I'm not going to look on this uh, vile person or this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, you know, this kind of like a, um, wicked or vile person. This would be uh, uh, much heavier. And then it says that uh, mm, it would be uh, much. Did you mention angry? To put this up. To, uh, to turn mention. your back on them with anger. Oh, turning right. your back on, turning, uh, turning one's back on them with anger and uh, think and saying, uh, you know, I'm not going to uh, look upon such a such a vile person. And um, so, uh, if you, uh, it would be, mm, if you were to scorn. Uh, 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 any any bodhisattva, it would be much much uh, worse than taking all of the possessions, uh, all the things, all of the possessions of all of the sentient beings uh, in, uh, in this world uh, of Zambuling. Hmm? So the negative karma is heavier. Yes. The negative karma is much heavier. Mm. Yeah, to criticize to uh, any any anyone of the bodhisattva, it's much more heavier than. Uh, still, uh, then having stolen all the belongings of the sentient beings of this world. Mm. <laughs> Chichu then um, it uh, explains that um, uh, there would be, um, uh, if you would, uh, it would be a sin immeasurably greater than that of someone who, um, if you were to speak um, disagreeably uh, to such, uh, to a bodhisattva who delights in the Mahayana, to, if you were to speak disagreeably to such a person, it would be a sin immeasurably greater than that of someone who demolishes or burns as many stupas as they are in grains of sands in the Ganges River. So the Ganges River, uh, of the four great rivers in uh, India, the Ganges River is the biggest one, so uh, the, the grains of uh, sand uh, in the uh, Ganges would be just, it would be virtually impossible to count, it's such a, a huge number. So if you were to, um, if you were to destroy as many, it says stupas here, but Rimshe explained again that it refers to uh, the um, bases of uh, holy body speech and mind, such as the holy bases of holy body would be like statues of the Buddha and so forth. Uh, then <coughs> uh, that uh, uh, it would be um, uh, far uh, greater um, uh, negative karma then to destroy as many of those bases, those uh, uh, images and so forth. Uh, of, of the holy body speech and mind uh, equal to the number of sands uh, in the, the river uh, Ganges. It would be far greater negative. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> generating, say, generating ill will towards Bodhisattva, uh, generating ill will and uh, rising anger uh, and saying, say, saying the, the say, uh, <coughs> Uh, rude words, rude, rude words, uh, uh, to to Buddhisattva who wish the Mahayana great vehicle. So this karma is much more, it is said, much more heavier uh, than the having destroyed the object of offerings, children object of offerings. Uh, how many equal number of sand grains of the 
uh, river Ganga. Uh, so that many have destroyed and burned. So, so that those things are uh, smaller than the, on that Takrani Buddhisabha, even uh, uh, they, even one Buddhisabha there tend to eat with, or ang- with anger in saying root words. So, yeah. uh, um, that's it becomes much more heavier. Mm-hmm. Nettojata so then it's explained that how one uh, that there are, there are all of these uh, there's all this negative karma that one can create if one uh, um, gets angry with a bodhisattva or uh, looks like gives a dirty look to a bodhisattva and it looks sort of like a badly at a bodhisattva and so forth and so it, this is it's explained here that this is something we have to be therefore very careful with because actually you can't tell who's a bodhisattva and who's not the Buddha uh, explained that uh, he said uh, myself and people like me so uh, Buddha himself who can see how things really are such uh, such a person is, uh, is able to make the judgment this is a Bodhisattva and this is uh, not they can make such uh, judgments but uh, other people such as ourselves uh, are not able to see that therefore uh, knowing that um, that there is such a, a great negative karma from uh, uh, looking badly at uh, a bodhisattva, look sort of like giving some uh, bad look at a bodhisattva, or getting angry with them and so forth, then uh, uh, being aware that it's just like um, coals that are uh, hot coals, burning coals that are covered with dust, so that you can't actually see that uh, that there's uh, that there that there are those coals there. It looks like there's no fire, there's no heat there. So uh, if you but if you were to jump into it, then you'd be burned, you'd be badly burned. So just like that, you 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 can't necessarily uh, tell that. Uh, a person is a, a bodhisattva, so one has to be uh, very careful in this in this way to, uh, in order to avoid uh, creating such negative karma. Mm-hmm. Sambi so um, it uh, explains uh, in the text as we go further down in the text it explains how uh, if one were to um, if uh, all of the sentient beings of the ten uh, directions had lost, uh, lost their sight they lost their eyes and uh, you were to uh, give them back their sight or give all of them back their, uh, their sight then uh, there would be uh, 
uh, great benefit to that would be a, a huge amount of positive karma you would, or virtue that you created in that way. In fact, if you were to give the give the, uh, sight back to just one sentient being who lost their, their eyes, that would already be a great thing, wouldn't it? So uh, giving to all the sentient beings of the, the ten directions, all the sentient beings everywhere, uh, back there, if they had lost their sight, giving them their sight, then there would be that incredible amount of uh, positive karma. But it says that there, there is, uh, uh, that doesn't compare, that there's a, a huge, uh, there's, um, there's much, much greater uh, positive karma or virtue in uh, simply looking at uh, a single bodhisattva uh, with faith and admiration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Um, there is a really uh, incredible benefits that we can come through uh, connection with these uh, very special objects and very special uh, beings. Uh, there's a, uh, the account of uh, an event in the life of the, the great seventh Dalai Lama, Cousin Gatso. So um, uh, he, uh, uh, there was uh, some, some person, I didn't quite get the, the name of the person that came uh, to meet him. <coughs> there's a monk from the, uh, uh, in the, say, Sir Cherubin, Samlo. Samlo. So Samlo is Kamsen, uh, one Kamsen. Uh, the divisions in the group, uh, the different groups called come to so some look. <coughs> so one uh, one geshe who has a mutum, one sh who is short body, so I say, who is very much, who is very much, uh, what do you say, uh, I say, the seven that I'm liking very much, yeah. very fond of, mm. very fond of him. Mm. So uh, he asked the, the, the seventh Dalai Lama where he would be uh, where, would I, where he would be born in the next life. And uh, the, the Dalai Lama explained to him uh, that he would be, told him, you, you're going to be born as a, as a like a, a horned uh, ox, like an ox with horns. Uh, blue horn. Blue horns. With uh, blue, horns. Blue, blue, blue horn ox. Uh, with blue horned ox. Mm, yeah, rising up. Uh, mm -hmm. Just image it, image it up, image it up to your death. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, this uh, Samno uh, Geshe uh, laughed at that, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the Dalai Lama, uh, the, um, the Samno Dalai Lama, asked him why he was laughing. And he said, well, uh, to, uh, if you're going uh, to be born as a blue, blue horned ox in, in that no, no, First he said, I'm laughing this word, uh, what he's what he's said, the Samno Dalai Lama said, that uh, the uh, uh, blue horned, the, the ox, blue horned, is a rice. Blue, blue, blue horn, also blue, blue horn, <laughs> rising up. So, uh, so that word, that comment, I'm laughing at it. Oh, that's right. Then he, then, then, uh, then he explained. Why? Then, so why, why are you laughing at that? And then he explained, I'm laughing at that because to be born as a, like that as a blue horn uh, ox, then you'd have to, in the bardo, in between, there'd have to be the bardo, the intermediate state, and there are no um, blue horned oxes in the in the bardo. So that he, he said he was laughing at that. And also the, in the. In, during the birth, you know, in the womb, and the ox, you know, there's no horn. The, you know, Im image when you, when the when the conception happened, when the birth, you see, inside the womb, image the horn. There's no such thing. So, how you how can you say that I'll be born? In the image, I write up this: I'll be born ox, mm. or a blue horn, you know, right, uh, blue horn ox. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. then, uh, then the uh, the Dalai Lama also. Uh, Laughed. Also laughed at that, and then um, he said, uh, "Laughed and laughed at that." Yes. And then, so he said, uh, "Maybe uh, you'll be born as a as a god in the next life." And then the the uh, the Geshe uh, laughed again. 
And he said, so then the Dalai Lama asked him, now why are you laughing? So he said, I'm <laughs> laughing because now you've, you've just told me that I would be born as a blue-horned ox. And in the meantime, I didn't manage to confess all of my yeah, uh, negativities and so forth, <laughs> purify my negativity. So how am I going to be born as a, a god? And then the, the seventh Dal Dalai Lama explained to him, it's because now having um, uh, met with me, you've had the good fortune of, uh, of meeting with me, and um, uh, in this way, the, you, you, you've purified that negative karma, so it's uh, Because I'm special, uh, I'm... Because of being a special uh, Yeah, uh, I'm a special object, you know. Uh, so, the, so, you, so you made me happy, but that, but that is pure, but you made me happy, you know. So that, made, that purified your uh, negative karma, so that's why now you can be born in Deva. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Immersion, ま、then there's also the, the story of uh, uh, Geshe from Amdo, who is really a very great uh, scholar, a very great expert. And then uh, when, his, uh, when his rebirth was found, when he died and the, he passed on, his rebirth was found, this, uh, this reincarnation was really quite, uh, quite stupid, very, very poor in learning. And so uh, they, uh, there was a, the, the question was asked about this because people were thinking this, uh, this can't be the incarnation of such a, a great scholar. How could it be? And so then... Uh, very uh, fool, uh, no, no wisdom, to, uh, no wisdom to, for learning and very fool. <coughs> fool. Foolish. Mm. Yes. So um, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the reply that uh, came to this was that uh, it probably uh, it probably is the ask, case that ask the pension pension the pension lama the question yeah. no. and so the the pension lama replied that the, it, it seemed that it this this person really was the uh, the incarnation of that great uh, that, that great uh, geshe but what had happened was that uh, uh, this geshe had criticised the, the the Dalai Lama in his previous life had said something uh, because Amdo <coughs> because Amdo is because uh, Amdo's uh, mouth is very Hot. You know. <laughs> Amdo's mouth is very hot. That means, uh, so as I said, Madhu criticized to his uh, to his Lama in the past when when the past life being very extremely learned. So Madhu criticized to his Lama. So that's why born, even though it's very learned, uh, past life, but in this time born, you see, no knowledge, no no knowledge to no no wisdom to learning and a uh, fool, born very poor. So maybe we we. It says literally, uh, hot mouth, maybe you would say sharp-tongued, so yeah, with a very yeah. sharp tongue. Right, Rabbi Jiva Namangi Vichun Dujan Dali Chon, Zambani Ki Simji Tam Ji Ji So Che Tam, Loba Tam Ji Chow Ba De, Chon Simji Tana, Tun Rola Sen Chang Ji Jin Be, Gewa La Pa Che Che Na, Li Gwa Chi Chang Ma Pa Che Pa Sung Be, Nen De La Ni Shin Sa Pa Che Wa Sa. Zambanagasin <laughs> Chimbushi 
if one were to it explains also in the text if one were to um, kill all of the sentient beings in this world of uh, uh, Zumbling if you were to kill them all and take all of their uh, steal, steal all their possessions for them, from them then of course that would be a, a very bad thing to do uh, we know from the explanation of the ten negative karmas that, uh, that there are uh, very uh, heavy results, very uh, great suffering results that come from killing and stealing. So we're talking about uh, killing all of these sen uh, those sentient beings and stealing all of their possessions. Uh, so uh, it, the, the, that would th that you'd be creating a huge amount of um, karma for being born in the uh, the lower realm. So it's obviously it's a very bad thing. And yet, the, uh, if one were to hinder uh, a bodhisattva in their practice of uh, virtue even if it was such a, a small thing as explains here as taking uh, uh, as uh, that bodhisattva giving just a, a handful like yeah, a fistful or a handful of uh, food to, to some sentient being uh, the, the the negative karma that you would create by interrupting their practice of virtue would be, would be much much uh, greater mm. And then uh, Jirimshi, uh, Lama Tsongkhapa himself, uh, um, makes the point, gives, uh, gives us the advice here that uh, since we don't know who is uh, a bodhisattva and who isn't, so we should be very, very careful with this. This is just like a, 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 an essential point, a vital point that we should be very, very careful with. No. <laughs> ね、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で
becomes very powerful in terms of the, the, the field, now we look at uh, how it becomes very powerful in terms of the basis. So, you know, this is uh, like the, the uh, in terms of basis, the, the, the person that actually is creating uh, the karma. It explains that um, uh, when uh, a person is unwise, uh, not knowing the difference between um, yeah, between um, um, virtue and non-virtue, the, there's an example that's given in the um, the Great Nirvana Sutra. There's a, a, a small Nirvana Sutra and a Great Nirvana Sutra. This is from the Great Nirvana Sutra. Um, uh, it explains that. Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, uh, in the text it's explained this example, and then it uh, quotes the, the same uh, example and so forth from, from that sutra. So, uh, uh, a sm uh, it, uh, when, with a, um, uh, a, a person who's unwise in knowing, in the sense that they don't know the difference between virtue and non-virtue, when they've created non-virtue, when they've created bad karma, they don't know how to uh, purify, so since they don't uh, know how to purify, they don't purify, and as a result of that then they have to experience uh, uh, suffering by being born in the lower realms. It says it's just like uh, a small uh, lump of, uh, of metal. If a small lump of metal is put on the, the surface of a body of water, then it will uh, sink to the bottom straight away. Whereas uh, if uh, a, 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 a quantity of metal is shaped, uh, a larger quantity of metal even is shaped uh, so that it can float, then when but it's... The, the round to uh, this, uh, round to the ball of, ball of the iron, uh, if it drops, it can go and uh, it can go down below the the depth, you know, down below the ocean, the water. But uh, that same ball of iron, if you make a container, then it'll stay, it'll stay above the water. So the, the, that's an example, the water uh, sorry, that metal floating on the water would be an example for the, the wise person who knows the difference between uh, negative, the, knows the drawbacks of negative karma, knows the, the benefits of positive karma and so forth, also knows how to purify uh, negative karma that they, they do create, therefore uh, they purify that negative karma. Uh, then uh, as a result of that they don't have to experience the ripening result of that. So uh, it's an example for that and it also gives uh, the example of um, water, which uh, uh, a small amount of water, which is um, in which you put a, a, like a, a handful of uh, salt, uh, in order, uh, which would make it like salty and undrinkable. Uh, if it was, if you were to put the, the same amount of salt in a large uh, amount of water, you might not notice it. But in a, you know, like a small quantity of water, then it become uh, undrinkable. And it would also be like um, if a person were to borrow. Um, it mentions, mentions the, the, the term dongsa, which it just means one sort of uh, one uh, unit of currency. If you were to borrow that, and you were not able, to, if, if if the person who's borrowed it can't repay it, and they leave it for a long time, if they leave the the, the debt outstanding for a long period of time, and then uh, eventually, even though it was just that one small amount of money that the, that they borrowed, it would become a great problem from for them in the future, and would. Uh, uh, lead to them uh, experiencing great suffering, so it would be like that. Mm. <laughs> Nibachunyona and Nibanuaji, Chumba Yena, Tel and Josem Jayat. Any 
Then um, there comes an example uh, in the text of uh, a, a fly landing on uh, uh, some lump of discarded mucus or snot on the, that's been discarded like that and, it, and landing on it, uh, getting stuck on it and not being able to uh, get free of that, being stuck in it like that. This would be like uh, the case of uh, somebody who is ignorant who uh, doesn't uh, know about the, the difference between uh, virtue and non-virtue and so on? The, they don't. They they, they 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 conceal. They have no. They no sense. Have no sense of regret for the negative karma. That uh, because of their ignorance, they have no sense of regret for the negative karma they create. And then uh, uh, they 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 can't uh, create virtue. And then they they conceal then their their faults. And uh, then due to all of this, uh, the virtue that they have created becomes like uh, uh, made uh, dirty because of the, all of the negative karma they've created. So uh, for them, uh, a, a, a karma which might have, uh, might have just uh, led to a ripening result, some small ripening result within this life, being able to experience the ripening result within this life, that can be uh, transformed into uh, the, uh, a cause which will lead to a, the ripening result of being born uh, in one of the, the hell realms. So it's for this reason that it's so impor uh, important for us in our, in our practices that we, uh, when we see that we've uh, created some kind of negative karma, that we uh, develop, uh, or we generate this mind of regret for what we've done, and that uh, we don't conceal or hide what we've done. Sometimes in the, the rituals there comes a point where you say, um, uh, I won't uh, hide this or I won't con uh, conceal this. So um, this is something which is very important for us to do. ま、ね、そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ
uh, not having created much uh, virtue in the past, also having uh, created a, a lot of negative karma, uh, so having, uh, having a build-up of negative karma from uh, the past, past also uh, heavy, heavy negative karma. Heavy negative karma. Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, having no uh, feeling of uh, regret and uh, not purifying, not con confessing uh, what you've done. <laughs> so it looks like that's four. Then the fifth one. Did you get the fifth one? Mm -hmm. And the number eight. Come on, okay. From beginning, uh, not having practiced virtue. Mm. Mm. ตัวยอสุญาติตะเคบาเตยอ่าน่ะมีตัวบาเลยโยสุญาติเนี่ยชิมมันตรงเซยอเกเอ่อตะเดตัวบาอ่าชั่มมาเตยอ่ะชิม
a certain kind of uh, downfall, Chijangi uh, Tongwa, anyway, there's a particular kind of downfall, which the, where the action itself, in terms of its uh, nature, is, uh, is uh, uh, neutral, but. The downfall, downfall, uh, or only the law made by Buddha. Oh, moral law made by Buddha. Oh, yes. So uh, the action it, uh, itself. Uh, is uh, in, in its nature is, uh, is it's, uh, neutral, unpredicted, but now because it's something which... Neutral, um, um, virtue, neither virtue nor virtue. No, it's neutral. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and yet now because it's uh, uh, something which has been uh, uh, forbidden uh, by the Buddha, with the, um, the Buddha has made a, a rule about it, if you were to uh, discard that and go, um, disregard it, uh, and go ahead and, and uh, do it anyway, well, then... Well, 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 one is aware, or knowing, knowingly. knowingly that. Mm. Then um, it would become uh, quite a, a heavy negative karma in that case. Mm. <laughs> ရဲ့အနေ့တန်နွန်ဇင်ပါရှာဝန်ခေဘာတယ်ဆိုအာရဲ့ပရင်ဂျောစင်ကျင်းနဲ့အနေ့ကိုရှာကောင်းတော့